Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is MC and in this wonderful and exciting tutorial, we're trying to see how to generate QR code using Golang, right? So a QR code is something like this, which stands for quick response code that allows you to be able to um, encode a particular type of test or data, right? In this particular format. And then most of the time you use a QR code scanner to be able to scan it. So let's see how to do the same thing using Golang. So the package you'll be using is you just go to package.go.dev, then I'll search for the word qr code right so using the first one from skip that is the one we'll be using there are several ones but that is the advantage and the niceness about go right go has a lot of packages so we'll be using the first one for github.com.skip.go so this is the one we'll be using so i'll just right click on it and then you'll use that particular package to do our work so let's go back to our workspace this is going to be my workspace here and then let's there's nothing let's create a folder so I'm going to create a simple folder which I'm going to call as I say QR code tweets, right? Then I'll move into this particular folder called QR code tweets. I'm going to create a go mode, so go mode in it. I'll call that QR code tweets, right? So it's going to create the go mode is a simple way of tracking all the various requirements that you need for a particular package, right? Or a particular project. So if I go back again, you're going to see my go mode file here, and then let's open with Sublime, right? Or code using VS code to open the entire stuff so this is where we're trying to do our test so in case you don't have go you can just install it on the system very simple approach and then we're using VS code most of the time it's recommended that in case you are doing work with go lang you can use VS code right because it has a lot of features that allows your work to be easy or you can use the uh, go for land right go land go land from JetBrains okay so it's opening perfectly for us and then we we'll start writing some code so care of stands for quick response so it just open so we're trying to see how to work with this particular package so this is a go mode file which is going to be used to track all that you'll be doing perfect so let's start with this i'm going to first of all create my first package right so i'll just go back again create a file i'm going to call the file main dot go right as you always know as you always do and there's nothing here, as you can see there's no package here right so that is the first package you are creating go dot mode is going to be used to track all our stuff main dot go is where our code is going to be so let's add the package that we'll be using so this is a package we will be using from this particular place right so it's a package and this is it right as you can see from here so in case i want to copy can just copy to copy this and then we can just go back again this is how to install it right so just go back to my terminal and I can now add it to my place. So it's going to be go get now paste in here. Right. It's going to get this particular package and add it to my go mode. So if I go back here, it's going to download it for us. And as you can see, there is nothing here, right? So by the time it finishes inside my go mode, it's going to create a go sum. That means that that's I've added a particular package to our go mode file, and there's a package, right? Perfect. Now let's go back to our main.go file, right? Which has nothing here, and let's create our first stuff the package. Let's make it bigger package main as the first thing right to make it executable then I'm going to create my let's hide this one then I'm going to create my function my main function so func right this is going to be the main function and everything is going to go here right all the code is going to go here but we need to import our package so let's import the package so we import into packages you be importing fmt right that's a package to help us with our formatting and then we we'll also be importing the next package which is going to be the one that we copied this one Right, so this is these are the two main packages we important, and I'll call as QR code in this particular format. So let's put it here. Right. So to make your work easier, sometimes you can put this entire stuff into a bracket to make it look cleaner. Right, so this is it. So if I go back and I just put it up here, perfect. so this is better, right? And this is cleaner. So QR code, and I'm putting the entire stuff inside this particular stuff here. Yeah. Back. and one thing about using this option is that it makes it easy for us so if i save it it's going to reformat everything for us right it's not there but uh, it has gone but after after writing the code is going to come so the first thing that let's see how to create our stuff so i'm going to create the simplest we just create a variable right this is a simple format of creating a variable i'm going to put as my krl code which i've already inputted so krl code dot right so there are several ones you can write you can write color file you can write file you can encode 
right? But I prefer to use the write, right? So that you write it straight to the file. So write file. So the moment I just did it, just come here, right? And now I can just paste in my test. So let's see the hello. This is KL. KL code in Go. Go long, right? Something like that. So that is the test I want to put it there, right? That is the first argument. The next ag argument is going to be the particular the uh, parameter that you want to put, right? So the, the type of curl code, as you can see, right? Then we have the size and the file name and the rest. So let's go straight away to my curl code dot medium. I want to get a medium one. The next one is going to be the size two five six. Then the last one is going to be the particular file name, as you saw here, the file name. So the file name is going to be, let's give it a file name like let's say my first file dot png, right? As we did previously in the Python option. So that is it, right? So that is how to work it. So if I save it, let's make it smaller so you can see it all. So this is it. So that is how to work with this wonderful package. Right? Perfect. So once you in go once you declare a variable, you should always use it. So let's use it here by coming back down here. See that if if or back if error is not nil right unlike python that is not that verbose but to go with verbose i want you to print fmt dot print line i want you to print the error so print a uh, sorry couldn't there's an error couldn't open or create okay or code something like that I don't know why I'm calling it the GR code, but it's supposed to be QR, QR code. Then I can now put in the value for there. So you can just put in the particular value, which is going to be percent V, right? And then this one is going to be the arrow. So that you have declared it. Right. So, so that is a bit understand. Perfect. You are done with it. Right. That is all. And then I have to close the entire stuff. So this, I have to close it. Right. Perfect. So let's save it. Everything is working as a format. So you have imported format. And then we have the QR code to write the file. This is the test we are putting on our test. This is the medium, the size, and the file name. And you say if there is no error, if error is not equal to nil, I want you to print this particular stuff, right? That is the basic understanding behind what you are doing. So this one closes it here, and this one closes it here. Perfect. Right. But let's make it was giving us an error, so let's make it print F. Right. Yeah. That's one nice thing about it. Anytime you see anything under R, that means that there's an error somewhere. Now let's check our code and make sure that everything's working so in case i want to run it i can just open my terminal from here let's bring it to the top and let's run it right so to be able to run it just go straight away with this so if i go back and i check it out we have my main.go file that's what i want to execute so to be able to execute i just go with go run main.go right you can just build but let's go straight away with it then it's going to build it and it's going to generate that particular file that we can actually use for our QR code. So if I check it back again, so we have our my first file, right? If I go back here, I check it out, you see I have my first file and we have the QR code generated. So that is how to generate QR code in Go, right? I can actually use my phone. This is my phone here. And then I can use the QR code scanner. Where is it? Uh, what? Yeah, here's a QR code scanner. I don't know whether I can see it. And I'm going to click on this, which is this one here. You know you can see here and i can now scan it, the entire stuff Perfect. and as you can see you can see that the test has come hello that is go colon and you can see the scan so that is how to work with this wonderful package it's very simple all you need to do is that you need to make sure that you have imported the package then you just create write a file right you can actually add color to it right so let's see how to do that in the other option so in case you want to also want to add color the same thing we did so i'll copy this one here this one so in case i want to add color the same thing let's go with the same thing, arrow right then as we did above here let me see myself code dot right color file right as you can see the color file and then you just pass in the same parameters so you pass in the test that you want to put there so let's pass in the test so this is color right and then i'll just pass in the kl code with medium and then I'll specify the color. So color, but you can just put the color, let's say black, white, as many as you want it to be. So let's paste in a color like say blue, right? And then let's pass in another color. So color dot white, right? 
if it's in and I'll just pass in my file so let's go to second file dot png some of the colors need to be supported otherwise it's not going to come right so we are done with it now we need to be sure that since it's we have defined it yes you must also bring out the arrow so I'll copy this one here and then I'll paste it here. this is in the color so let me uncomment this one out hopefully there's no error given there's no error right, so there so let's check it back again so the reason it was feeling that we need to bring the size right before we move on so the size and then the real thing that we need so this we made it as black let's choose blue we want to see something different yeah, hopefully blue supported i think blue is not supported that's why it's given us this color so blue not declared by package so that means that there's no blue so let's use black all right and everything is working perfect so that is how to do it so now let's run it again and then let's go back again right to our terminal run it again so the second file is going to be generated perfect if i check it out so you have our second file which is here i open it and you can see that you have our test there right so that is the another alternative you can also actually use to help you with your QR code right very cool and very nice you can see the difference here the background was white by default but here you can see that there's also having a black Listen around it and if I scan it with my phone again let's scan it here right so this is as you can see this is colored right and it's coming so that is how to work with this wonderful package so thank you for watching this tutorial in case you have any question or contribution you can just put inside the comment section below so to recap the basic idea is that first of all you need to be able to import the package right package.main import the package that you're using right and then you just write the file straight away which consists of the data the type and then the size as well as your file name or you can just write the color option right and you have seen how to add a back black color behind it very cool and very nice so thank you for watching this tutorial in case you have any question or contribution you can print inside the comment section below and then check the links below because i have a whole course on machine learning in go data science in go and some more materials see you another time stay blessed bye